Hello everybody, it's Bait, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time we got ourselves a sweet Korkiri sword and a Deku shield. This, the great Deku tree told us that he is in trouble and we gotta go help him, so we're gonna be entering inside of him. Kinda sounds weird when you think of it. Reminds me of that one Magic School Bus episode, or I think that actually happened like three or four times now that I think about it. Inside the Deku tree. Alright, welcome to the first dungeon in the game. So this is a new enemy. What do you have to say? Deku Bawa, hit it when it lunges at you. And it will stand up right. Cut it quickly to get a Deku Stick. So, if you hit it while it's up, you'll get a Deku Stick. Or, if you hit it while it's not up, you'll get Deku Nuts. Now, I'm not exactly nuts about these, but they are quite a useful item. I really like the inside, how it's all shiny. The models in this game look so cool. I'll point them out a lot. So the way it works is it stuns enemies. I like to equip Deku Nuts on Y. You might be thinking, why do you do that? My answer would be, I don't know. I've just done that for a while and I'm just used to it. If I put it on X or something, like it just throws me off. So if I demonstrate those now, they get stunned and then you can bop them. And you can get more, so don't feel too bad about wasting them on these guys. And Deku Stick, sweet. Anyway, so if you see there's a bit of a, a spider web right here. Look, look, Link, you can see down below this web using up. Wow, that's quite a big web. Maybe we'll go down there. Is that foreshadowing at work? I don't know. Look at this wall. The vines growing on it give a rough surface. Maybe you can climb it, Link. And climb it we shall. All right. Oh, I love playing this on the GameCube. I don't know how people stand uh, Nintendo 64s, because let me tell you that analog stick, not a fan of it. GameCube one is so much better. What did we get? Oh, we got the map, so we can use this to see all the rooms. So, I mean, not to knock on Nintendo 64. I do love it, and they're fun to play on. My grandma had one growing up and I'd always play on it like all the time and that's how I first played this game. Fun fact, but you can open the door by standing and pressing A. Anyway, so I keep losing my train of thought. Navi, you're interrupting me. So, bit of a trend for this game, Navi interrupts you all, all the heck in time and just, just all around annoying. Alright, what was I saying? Alright, so, spit its nuts back at it and then, oh look, you got him. Uh, Forgive me, Master. If I give you a clue, will you let me go? When you jump off a high cliff, if you hold forward, you will roll on the ground when you land and won't get hurt. Useful tip. Though I can't guarantee it'll work if it's really high. But yeah, Nintendo 64 is nice, but GameCubes are much better, although they are quite loud, so forgive me if you hear a lot of in this game. Sounds like I'm playing Smash or something. Fun fact, I've never actually played Melee. Played all the other versions, but never Melee. Although, I did actually get the case for Melee for free at a yard sale, but it didn't have the game in it, and still a little beat up about that. What are we getting here? We got the Fairy Slingshot. I added an extra H in there. So, the way this works is you can fire Deku Seeds, which is what those items are used for, and, you know, those are just all around useful, so. It's our ranged weapon. Holy cow, you are just pointing out everything. So, one thing it does say, if you hold down whatever, uh, if you hold down C for a little while longer, it instantly goes. But if you just tap it, if I return, it pulls it up and then doesn't do it. Anyway, so if we take a look at Navi, look, something is hanging up there. It looks like an old bladder. Hmm, what can we do? We just got a slingshot, or excuse me, fairy slingshot. If this was the original Zelda, it'd be called a magic slingshot, because everything is called magic. Oh, and I believe if you actually don't break that platform that was there, you don't have to shoot this ladder down. I think, I don't know, I should have tried that. My bad, forgive me. Let's be on our merry way. Alright. Um, I'm trying to remember what to do here. I'm gonna cut for a second here, forgive me. 
All right, I remember now. Okay, so to see these guys, these are our sculptures. If you climb, the best strategy is to shoot them off the wall, because if you climb and they see you, these guys are always scaring me. Uh. I mean, you can't usually sneak around them, but they just charge it, you and knock you off, and oh, it's so scary. I hate them. Shoot him down. And let's get this guy as well. Alright. I'm gonna go for a 360 no scope. Oh, I missed. What? Have I been cranked? So you can L target to use the slingshot, which I will say is quite useful. Aiming is kinda hard because it doesn't give you a reticle or anything, but I found if you kinda look and make an X out of the slingshot and whatnot using the bar and flick's thumb, then hmm, it's not too bad. Alright, so now if we climb up this wall, I wonder if we'll discover something new. The answer being yes, because negative possibility space is not good game design, and this game is designed quite well. There are, you know, as every game has, a few flaws with it, but it is a very solid game, and I really like it. Wait. Okay, I just gave myself a little panic attack and thought I wasn't recording audio for a second. So these guys, you can shoot them with your slingshot, but the way you want to kill them is wait till their turn. I was kind of just on autopilot there, because I beat those guys like all the time. There's the map. I had it deselected, so that was throwing me off. Ooh, what's going on in this room? So, as you can see, there's a few torches, there's a few enemies, there's something over there. So, if you light your deco stick, you can light these on fire. What does this do? Alright, so that's what unlocks the door. So, deco sticks will burn away. So, I sh but if you cancel out of them, they will be saved. For whatever reason. I don't know why. So, do some sweet parkour. Unfortunately, we don't get paid. Oh man. That guy always gets me. So, this guy right here... He's something a little special. So, this is what is called a gold sculpture. So when you destroy one, you get a token, token proven you destroy it. So these are scattered all over Hyrule. Uh, I believe there were a hundred of them, or is it 99? I can't remember. But maybe we'll find out what they're used for later. I'll get back. That was pretty easy. But yeah, I will be collecting all of those. I'm going for more or less 100% in this, this playthrough, so I'll be doing that. Ooh, Deku Nuts. I'm gonna set those on X, even though I typically like to have them on Y, but I always have the slingshot on Y. It's like one of the big ones I'm big on. Deku Sticks, Deku Nuts, eh, not too picky, but slingshot's always gotta be on Y. I kind of explained myself on this in the previous previous episode. Yeah, this is the second one. Wow, I can't keep track of myself. Ooh, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? You got the compass. So the way the compass works is it'll point out all the hidden things. So it'll point out chests and also show your location on the map, which is incredibly useful, I have to say. So red arrow tells you the door you came through and yellow arrow is yourself. Pretty self-explanatory. All right, so. Oh, this guy's gonna die. Yeah. So Deku sticks are actually pretty good on those guys. That's something I'd recommend. So if we look down, Hey, that's a spider web. So it did say we had to go through there, so why don't we say hello? So by jumping on it from high, we were able to break it. And as you can hear, there's a few gold sculptures in here. Yes, sir, I would like you two dead. Oh. So yeah, they, they do attack in rhythm, so I would just, you know, shield when they aren't killing you and attack. Shield when they are trying to kill you and attack when they aren't trying to kill you. So, use your slingshot to pick that guy off, off there and you get golden sculpture number two. Climbity, climbity, climb. Let's get that. You destroyed a gold sculpture. Congratulations! I wonder if that's made out of actual gold because, I don't know, that'd be pretty sweet. Ooh, alright. Let's see. Ooh, there's another gold sculpture right there. What do you say? He dies. 
Alright, I should have a uh, 360 no scope that guy. Let's get this, and that's Gold Sculptula number three. Now, I believe I'm correct in that I didn't miss any in this dungeon. I think there's only three. Don't quote me on that, but you should probably quote me on that because I literally looked this up right before doing this. Okay. What are we doing here? So there's a switch right there. What do you say we go and step on it? Ooh, look at this tutorial. So it's showing you that fire burns away spider webs. Does fire burn spider webs? I've let you think about it. Spider webs this big are actually like terrifying. Those are some big spiders. Sp and sp and spiders are just scary. So, if you get all oh, fire wet, it goes out. But luckily, we can stand right here. So, shouldn't. What? Did that just burn out? Only got one left. Yikes. Alright. I will not mess this up. And you can, like, roll around with it for whatever reason, and it doesn't go out. So, kind of weird. And then, just push B fast enough, it doesn't die there, but it can be pretty close. What's this next room? Ooh, it's another one of these guys. Dodge. Please forgive me, master. I'll never do it again. If you spare me, I'll teach you something cool. I, I don't know, how cool. You will never beat my brothers up ahead unless you punish them in the proper order. The order is 2, 3, 1. 23 is number 1. I'm pretty sure this is the same for every playthrough, I want to say. Some games don't always do that, but how about I double check right now? Well, I'm just going to look it up on the internet. Okay, yeah, it's the same for all of them, I think. Ooh, I wonder what we're going to have to do to this. Okay, this one, I'm going to go for a 360 no scope again, because... Line up. Ready? Aim. Fire. Ah, oh, I missed. Gonna go again. Oh, way too early. This might take a while. Okay, too late. Oh, nailed it. First try. So, whenever you see an eye, just shoot it. I mean, not in real life, but certainly in this game. And Zelda in general. So Navi right here is saying that we can dive in the water. She said there might be some cool things we can reach. So how about we check it out? So you tap A and you can dive. Link can hold his breath for three seconds. Just kidding. Yeah, he can hold his breath longer. He can just dive down. Three. Three what you might ask? I'm just going to say three Link units. Three Link dive units maybe. So this right here... Now that the water level is lowered, you can dodge under the spikes. And we can say, well, this guy. Want to die, sir? Killing things is fun. Stand next to this block. Grab with it. A and move. Wow, I know. Faster than Nami does. Because it's almost like I've played this game before. I just dabbed on Nami. I mean, I don't have a base camp or whatever. You know, I, I thought you should know. Navi is a hater. Just kidding. Navi is great. I know she gets a lot of hate, but I really do like her. Sure, she does get annoying with her. Hey, listen! But, you know, I, I, I like her. She is nice. Ooh, we got some Deku Seeds. So these you use for ammo in the slingshot. So pick them up to replenish them. I'll get some more. Alright. You can hold up to 30 right now, so 23 is more than enough. Although, I don't like it being a prime number. I have a fear of prime numbers. Oh, I hate that sound. It's just awful. It sounds like lip smacking, which alternates from being the funniest thing to the grossest thing. Some good old ASMR. Let's play Ocarina of Time, ASMR edition. No, we're, we're, we're not doing that. I mean, I'm not hating on you if you like ASMR, but I'm not going to make it. So, we open that door. Let's, uh, break these bad boys open. And by break, I mean cut. And by bad, I mean plant. Oh, uh, I always roll into that guy. But I didn't this time. So, I said I don't always do it. Just every time. But this... Alright, let's see what's going on here. 
Ooh, enemy music. So if you look up, there's these little egg things. I can't remember. Can you shoot those? These things have always freaked me out. They're just... Yikes. Okay, I think the answer is no. So, if you notice, they will fall from the ceiling and hatch into the... Whatever the heck these are. Goma larva. Okay, see what an actual one is. Remember what I said about if you see an eye, shoot it. That applies to these guys. Ah. Be gone. Get him. Whoa. Yikes. That was close. I mean, those guys aren't too dangerous, but I don't know. They've always just kind of freaked me out. But then again, everything in this game is scary. I don't know how it's rated E. I mean, this, yeah, I'd say it's child appropriate. But some of the later stuff, if you've played this game before, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't know what they were smoking when they rated this game, but... You know, pretty sure they were smoking at least something illegal. Alright, so this right here... Hey, there's a wall. Sounds a little different than a normal wall. If you hit it, I mean, you can't even hear these ones. So it just goes right on through it. Or maybe a little wood sound. So we'll have to come back to that. Anyway, let's... Burn down this spider web. Spider web burns away. Crawl through the hole every day. You're welcome. I'll have you know that I'm a very talented singer. Just kidding. I don't know. I'd say I'm like average. Not, not, not the greatest singer, but far from the worst. Although when it comes to piano, I'm, I'm much better. I've been playing the piano since I'm a kid. And one thing... Watch me just transition so well. One thing I do want to do with all of my Let's Plays is make a piano song at the end of them as part of a unique thing that I can do to make my brand name unique. So, as you can see, there's a spider web we gotta break. We can't fall from above, but we did learn you can burn them. But these are all too high, and Link being the, 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 sh the shorty that he is can't reach them, unfortunately. So... We're gonna push this forward so we can get the other torch. I mean, we could just wait till Link to go taller, but I don't think we got that amount of time. We, we got a world to save. Let's save the world. Hmm, now that I think about it, every game is about saving the world. I don't know, I found that kind of funny. Alright, so don't land in the water. You know, fire and water. They're not pals. Maybe they are pals. Just too good and they end up getting rid of each other. Ooh, look at all this water. This water makes me uncomfortable. I don't like it. It looks green. And I don't like that. So, if you see, there's these three Deku shrubs that are all identical. Almost like they're brothers. So if you remember, we gotta kill them in the proper order. Or, sorry, punish them. Uh, non-violence. So you go 2, 3, 1. 23 is number 1. Yeah, make sure you don't mess this up. I've, like, messed this up a lot. And then... Oh, we gotta talk to... Talk to this guy, I guess. We're not getting fast enough. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I wanted to talk to the other guy, but... Come here. Sir. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Okay, that worked. I'll let you know our secret. How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm gonna reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. Convenient. In order to administer the coup de grace, I don't speak French, sorry. To Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she is stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that. I mean, you didn't have to say that. I don't know what, uh, what's up with these Deku shrubs being just tattletales. But they are. Not a fan of it. This looks ominous. This fog. Oh, it's so cool. Wow, look at these 3D effects. I know this game is like, but you know, it's not got the best poly count or highest resolution, but it still holds up. Wait, what was that? Um. Yikes. How do you roll your eye around? Oh, I hate that. 
parasitic armored arachnid. Don't. So, remember what I said about when you see an eye shoot it? So this says Gomo. This is, it's one of the parasitic monsters. One of? I, I, I don't know, I guess the largest. Its eye is vulnerable when it's red. I mean, you can use bombs. Oh, I was gonna definitely stick it. Alright, so if you see here, Goma's eye goes a little weird. Oh, it's freaking out. And then she just lays eggs all over the floor. Jackie sticks are effective on this guy since you know, two hits. Oh, I'm actually not doing very well in this fight. This is a pretty easy fight. I mean, I know I'm not making it look like it. Right, right like that. Just go ahead and feel free to wail on Goma as much as you would like. Goma's design is like way cool. Like this, this I don't know how many legs she has. So what? Is it just two? Oh, I, I don't know. I think that's four. But anyway, really cool design. I like Goma. I mean, for the first boss, she is pretty easy. But I mean, let's let's be real. So you can hit Goma down right there. I wanted to show off that other time. That's why I didn't do it last time. And. And fire. I don't know where it came from, but I won't complain, cause dead. Don't mess with me or my decoratory again. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick up this piece of heart, heart container. Sorry, piece of heart is a fault of one. And we get an extra heart. Wow, that's just fine and dandy. Let's go say hello to the decoratory. He'd better reward us. I mean, we did just save his life and all. You're welcome. Well done, Link. Thou hast fairly demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now, I have yet more to tell you. Wouldst thou listen? Say yes, because it's, it's a trap. Now listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert casts this dreadful curse upon me. Story time. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorcerer's powers in search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one finds the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Din, the goddess of power. Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Pharaoh, the goddess of courage. Din. With her strong, flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the Red Earth. Nehru poured her wisdom unto the earth and gave the spirit of Ra to the world. Pharaoh. With her rich soul produced all life forms who would uphold the law. The 
three great goddesses, their labor was completed, departed from the heavens, and golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses had left the world. Since then, the sacred triangles have become the basis for our world's providence, and the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me had sapped my power. Because of that curse, my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break this curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you about these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Link, go now to Hyrule Castle. There, thou wilt surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse upon me. got the Korkiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest, now entrusted to you by the Great Deku Tree. Oh, I love the 3D models of this, it looks so pretty. Oh, it looks so good. The future depends upon thee, Link. Thou art courageous. Navi, the fairy, help Link to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Good. Bye. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Link. Goodbye, Great Deku Tree. And with that, the Korkiri Emerald entrusted to us. Well, actually, let's let's speak to Mino first. Hey, Link, what did you do? The Great Deku Tree did he? Die? How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. Wow. That's quite childish of you, but then again, I mean, we all are children. But, with the Great Deku Tree dead, Goma defeated, and the Korkiri's Emerald, I think it's time that we say goodbye. So, see ya!